Oxygen is breathed into the lungs and then passed into the blood where the majority of oxygen is attached to hemoglobin. The oxygenated blood circulates to the tissues and various organs of the body. An easy way to understand the process is to think of hemoglobin protein molecules as cars and the blood vessels as roads. Oxygen gets into these cars and travels throughout the body to its desired locations. And a healthy adult would typically have an oxygen saturation level somewhere between 95 and 100 percent. With free waves, the red and infrared LED light is shined through the conchal bowl of the ear to a photodetector on the other side to capture the heart rate and oxygen saturation. Oxygen saturation is an important metric to measure for many athletes because it informs them of their level of oxygenation. Proper oxygen delivery to tissues and organs affects energy metabolism, blood pressure, and muscle function. The ear is a great place to obtain heart rate and oxygen saturation because first, there's no bone obstruction. Second, there's arteries that are very superficial and more accessible. And finally, the ear is very well perfused with a lot of blood flowing through its capillaries. The transmissive method is the same method used in operating rooms and hospitals due to its high accuracy. Freewaves is the first wearable tech company implementing this as a gold standard. As you know, heart rate is the number of heartbeats per minute. When your heart beats and contracts, there's a surge of arterial blood that increases in volume as it passes through the body. This results in more light absorption when the blood volume increases. The increase in light absorption due to higher blood volume is represented as peaks on the screen monitor, while the troughs represent contraction of arteries. Heart rate is a metric that many athletes track because it allows them to work smarter not harder. 